I do want to get back to that breaking news we have been following out of Fort Worth this morning where seven people were shot. This happened off Davis and New York south of downtown and police have been on the scene there all night trying to figure out what happened. Our Tanya Iser is there this morning. Tanya, good morning to you. Uh, tell us what you know at this point. Well, at this point, we do know that two people have died. Uh, police are wrapping up their crime scene investigation here. You can see uh, them taking away one of the cars uh, from the scene. We don't yet have a lot of details, but what we have learned is that apparently a black car just after 11 p.m. Uh, came down here on East Davis, opening fire, um, shooting people all up and down this block. Apparently that car uh, rounded the block and one or more people got out and then went back down here opening fire on one of these houses on this side of the road and there were a lot of people who had their windows shot out on the other side and the two victims who were killed were on this side. Uh, there was a large uh, grouping of shell casings right here that crime scene recovered. Um, earlier, uh, just after the shootings, we saw an ambulance uh, uh, leave from the scene carrying one of the victims to the hospital. We do not yet know the condition of that person. Uh, the victims were taken to multiple hospitals. We spoke to a witness uh, who has lived here for decades who was just tired of the violence. I think I heard over 80 shots and there was more than one gun being shot. This is a regular thing. I've been staying on Davis Street since 1972 and several people have passed away and I'm just, I'm just really tired of it. Um, at this point, we do not yet know if police have any suspects. We also don't know uh, if the victims were uh, random or if they were targeted. Uh, so as you can see, we have a lot of unknowns in a neighborhood that has seen far too much violence. I'm live in Fort Worth, Tanya Iser, Channel 8 News.